I think we'll start this out with an example. You know, the Hilbert chain is you're going to have a path. Oh, oh, you oh, grab by the function. Yeah, right. We might be wrong. wrong. No. <laughs> We're funny, but not always a no. trying to figure out the best way to explain about how reinforcement kind of gets going, right? And what and what makes something reinforcing in and to itself. And, and there's a there's a lot to this, folks. We could we could talk for uh, God damn. We could talk for a while about what how to establish a reinforcer. We can get into classical conditioning. We have primary reinforcer, secondary reinforcer, all that stuff, but that's not where I want to go with this. I I really uh, sorry, it's just a little warm. Um getting distracted. But I really want to get into the concept of motivation. Um, because motivation is really what makes a reinforcer valuable, right? Because we know about these things called motivating operations. Right? So we take the concept of motivation and behavior analysis and break it into something observable. So as we break it into something observable, as we, sorry, as we break it into something observable, we run into um, the concept of motivating operations. And motivating operations are really events, stimuli in your world, events that happen to you that make certain other stimuli reinforcing or not reinforcing for that matter. Um, so we can focus on establishing operations and we can focus on abolishing operations, but you know what? God, I, I, it's, folks, I'm sorry, it's a hundred degrees out here. In fact, my wrist ha tells me it's a hundred, well, not quite, it's close to a hundred degrees out here. It, don't look too closely, you'll find out why. It's the hair. Anyway, get, I'm done. I have had enough of the videos. I'm done. I'm out of here. See ya. Hey! What? What do you want? You gotta finish the lecture! Why would I do that? Oh, you are an ass! I have water? You want, on a day like today, you think water's gonna be reinforcing? Is that what you think? Yeah! Because you're right! You know why? It's hot! And we've established a motivating operation that water is reinforcing to a person that's hot and thirsty and hasn't drank in anything in a while. Do you understand now why reinforcers are based on motivation? Because if you establish the contingencies correctly, if you establish the environmental stimuli appropriately, and you <coughs> engage in some... He's not even giving me the water yet! If you engage in appropriate motivation... Oh, okay. you contingency-wielding... Anyway, so just because he's a behavior analyst doesn't mean he can reinforce. It does mean he can reinforce me, folks. I need to calm down because he's probably going to start worrying about my magnitude before too long. Anyway, the point is, by running in temperatures like this, it probably genuinely establishes water as a motivating operation, or the water becomes, a, you know, the thirsty, the experience of hot and dry and cold, and then I'm even out of words because I need the water so bad. So it would probably really reinforce me to continue on with my lecture if you gave me a little bit of water because I think Thanks my behavior is getting a little weak. Um, thank you, sir. Much appreciated for uh, hanging on to the water. <laughs> I'm going to die. Uh, much appreciated for hanging on to the water while um, I give my pseudo life for behavior beast lectures and trying to demonstrate what motivating operations are all about. So keep that in mind with anything. You deprive people of certain stimuli and guess what? You probably established a motivating operation. Oh my gosh! Hear that? You probably created an establishing operation. You established the effectiveness of a reinforcer by depriving of it or putting somebody like me with hair like that in temperatures and sun like this and then making me go run probably establishes the value of this stimulus as a reinforcer. So reinforcement ain't gonna happen without some motivation, folks. Motivation is stimuli. Exposure to stimuli, repeated exposure, or deprivation, or whatever. There's all sorts of different things to it. You have to watch lectures on that, too. So hopefully you don't have any questions because I can't answer you right now. Um, but probably will if you write something in the comments.